Hi, it's Angel Shaver, staff of Independent Demonstrator from Kansas. I know I'm a couple of days later this week, but I tell you what, when school has a snow day, you want to just stay home and play and have a snow day. So that's what I did on Thursday. This week, this month, we are focusing on the Rainbows of Happiness stamp set. And this is the third week of February. So we are creating a Christmas card. I am not actually using any stamps from this stamp set. I will be using the Brilliant Rainbow Dies with a Christmas sentiment. But I will be creating a Hanukkah card with this stamp set, and you can see it on my blog Wednesday. So if you are interested in a Hanukkah card, make sure you go check that out at angelstamps.net. Before we get started, I want to make sure that you guys know that celebration is going to end in about a week. February 28th is the last day of the celebration, the January-February 2022 celebration. That is your last chance to um, earn any of the free gifts by placing an order in increments of $50 or to earn a host set, the exclusive host set with either a party or a personal order of $300 or more. Or join my team and you get not only the already amazing starter kit deal which is a hundred and twenty five dollars of your choice of stampin up product for only ninety nine dollars plus tax free shipping but during celebration you also get to pick out any two additional stamp sets that you want to add to your starter kit for free. And this is only through next Monday, February 28th. So if you're interested in any of the above, make sure that you contact me, leave a message here. You can email angel at angelstamps.net. And I will be happy to get back to you, help you figure that out, set up an online party, whatever it is that you need. Now, let's get started making our Christmas card with the rainbow dies. Here we go. Okay, my computer is being silly and doesn't want me to be able to see what I'm filming, but I want to see it, so I'm going to try to get it up so I can see what you are seeing. Okay. You can see what I have laid out right here. Okay. Now, oh, let me get, there we go, mute it. We are going to start by adding our sentiment, Christmas sentiment, to the front of the card. I have a piece of Misty Moonlight cardstock cut four and a quarter by 11. And when you fold it in half, that makes four and a quarter by five and a half. For the inside of the card, I have a piece of basic white cut four by five and a quarter. 
And then I have this piece that the New Horizon Designer Series paper will be using later. So let me set that aside. We are going to heat emboss our Christmas sentiment. So that is what I'm getting out first. Get my embossing buddy and just swipe it across the bottom of the cardstock to get rid of some of the static. And then my Versamark pad and my Merry Christmas sentiment. I'm going to stamp it right down here at the bottom. Okay. Move my first mark and my sentiment stamp. And we're going to heat emboss it with silver embossing powder. So I'm going to Pour the silver powder over the or over the Versamark image, and then I just tap it on the back to get rid of any extra. And pour this back in while I'm thinking about it. I always spill a little, but that's okay. I'll grab my paintbrush. To get a little bit of the excess embossing powder off the bottom and the sides. Okay. I'm going to turn this on and we are going to heat them up. There we have our very sparkly heat embossed sentiment that says Merry Christmas. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the only other stamping we have to do today, which will be on the inside of the card. And I'm taking the another sentiment from the Evergreen Elegance stamp set, stamping this one in Misty Moonlight. May the beauty of the season bring you joy and warm memories to cherish throughout the year. All right, set that aside. Set that aside, and then I will move my stamping surface because we're not going to use it again. I'm bringing over my stamp and cut and emboss. Now, what the technique I'm about to do, I saw on the demonstrator planning place 
Um, her first name is Ashley. Her last name started with S, but I've forgotten it already. But we are going to make a very fancy window, like you might find in a church. I'd say it's stained glass, but it all depends on what you put behind it. Okay, I am back, and I think I've discovered what happened. You do need a piece of paper that is identical on both sides, because what you need to do is create what will look like a whole rainbow. So we're going to try it again with some basic white paper. And see if we can make it work out this time. Alright, here is my rainbow die. Send this through. And then get rid of the white bows. Flip the paper over and send it through again. all this stuff away and then we're going to build our window. I might have cut them a little too close to each other but we'll just make it work at this time anyway. Cut them apart and then we're going to line them up as a window and do some more cutting. Alright. And there we have our gorgeous window. Trying to decide where I want to line that this up. Okay. I think that's, I'm going to leave this here because I'm going to do a lot more cutting off of the stuff on the top. So, I'm going to mark my pencil marks where I want to cut. And then we're going to snip these and then I'll bring out my paper. 
paper trimmer. And I'm going to follow along this curve, I hope. My daughter told me the other day it's not hard to trim a circle or a half circle as long as you can follow along the lines. Well, I might have to disagree with that. It might not be hard for her, but it's a little difficult for me. And then I'm going to use my trimmer to trim more of a straight edge along there. Let's see what else I need to trim off. now put that aside and then we're going to see what we have here for our window See how this works out. And then I may be going to glue it together and start to use the trimmer for whatever else I need to trim off. And again, the curve along the edge. there okay now it's time to add some glue and see what we can do add a little
Okay. Now I'm going to take my New Horizons Designer Series paper and figure out which image I want behind my window. We're going to put our whole card together. I want to cut off a strip of the designer series paper to put on the inside of the card. Half an inch by Glue on the pink side because it's the blue side we want showing for this. And glue it into the inside of the card. And then put glue on the back of the card interior. And get it on the inside of the card as well. It's too long. So we're just going to have to trim the edge. And now we glue it back on the inside of the card. We will glue the stained glass window or just the window that we're looking outside of the snowy the snowy weather. I'm not sure, but we're gonna glue that on the card. And I will work on getting some of that glue off later, but there it is. There is our stained glass window card.
and there's the inside. So here is your Christmas card using the room as a habitus bundle. We didn't use the stamp set today, just the dies. And I will be back on Thursday at 2 o'clock, and we will be making our final February featured stamp set card, and it will be featuring some of the clouds and the cloud punch. So I'll see you then. Bye.